Hey guys, my kids gave me this sweet Star Wars jigsaw puzzle for Christmas. I made it, it was super fun, but now I wanna put it on a wall. So how do you glue a jigsaw puzzle together? No problem, I'll show you. Here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need some, you're gonna need some glue that dries clear. You can buy fancy puzzle glue, which I did. It's about twice the price. You don't have to buy this stuff. It just came with the useful little spreader. Then you want some spray adhesive glue. I've got some tape just to help keep things steady. And then you can need a couple of foam boards depending on the size of your puzzle. We're gonna pour the glue all the way on. We're gonna spread it all the way. Then we will let that dry. Second phase will be to flip the puzzle over and glue the boards onto the back of the puzzle using the spray adhesive. what kind of surface you've used under here. If you've used wax paper, it's gonna be easier. I've used these boards. And I just ran this underneath just to get it all nice and loose, but it's come up well. What we need to do now is to measure the board to the puzzle. We're gonna mark out where we're gonna cut, and we're gonna cut out just enough of these board to uh, ideally be slightly less than the puzzle. So we're gonna measure to the puzzle's uh, width and length, and then we're going to cut it down just slightly smaller so that you can't see any of the board. So before you glue this, there's a couple of things you're going to want to do. First, we need to obviously flip the jigsaw puzzle over. Now that it's glued on the front, it holds together really nicely. Some people would leave it at that. Uh, some people will also use the same glue on the back. I prefer to use a spray adhesive onto a solid board. Uh, it makes a more reliable product. Cover up uh, whatever surface, because this uh, spray adhesive always spreads a little bit. And then you want to get access to a handful of heavy items. I've got a mortar and pestle, some books, a crock pot, and a cactus pot. And we're going to put that on top afterwards to help hold it all down, which will help deal with any, uh, any kind of bubbles or, or warping that you may have from the glue. Depending on how, uh, which glue that you've got, these, uh, the Elmer's Craft Bond, basically if you get it glued on relatively quickly, it forms a permanent bond. But if you leave it, say a minute or two minutes, it forms a temporary bond, like a post-it note. So you need to move relatively speed. that sit for at least an hour before you do anything else with it. So after you've left it for an hour or more, we left it overnight, you can take it all off. Inside the edges, make 
trim a tiny little bit off this side underneath. Now, you can mount it on the wall. Wait, so we're not going to take it apart? Nope. Never, ever, gavel? <laughs> There's no such thing as the word gavel.